Last section of, of Unit 8, identify special quadrilaterals. Okay, at this point we've learned a number of different quadrilaterals. Okay? Um, quadrilateral ABCD has both pairs of opposite sides congruent. What types of quadrilaterals meet this condition? Well, opposite sides congruent, this one is a parallelogram. This one is a rectangle. If all the sides are congruent, this one is a rhombus, and this one is a square. Okay? So all four of these have opposite sides congruent. Alright, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint. Let's go on to example two. What is the most specific name for the quadrilateral ABCD? Okay, at first glance, this looks like a square. Okay? The diagram shows that both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. By theorem 8.7, ABCD is a parallelogram. All the sides are congruent, so ABCD is a rhombus, by definition. It looks like you could call it a square. Squares are also rhombuses, however there, are, there is no information given about the angle measures. We don't know if these are right angles. They look like right angles, but because it's not labeled, we cannot assume. So you cannot determine whether it is a square. All you can say is that it's a rhombus. Is there enough information given in the diagram to show that the quadrilateral that the quadrilateral FGHJ is an isosceles trapezoid? Explain. All right. Show that FGHJ is a trapezoid. Angle G and angle H are supplementary. Okay. So these two angles, if you add them together, they add up to 180. But angle F and angle G are not. So, FG is parallel to HJ, but FJ is not parallel to GH, which is exactly what we need. We need exactly one pair of parallel sides. By definition, FGHJ is a trapezoid. So now we've shown that it's a trapezoid. We, now we need to show that it is an isosceles trapezoid, if we can. Show that the trapezoid, the trapezoid FGHJ is isosceles. That's what we're going to try to do. Angle F and angle G are a pair of congruent base angles. Now, if you remember, if you have one pair of congruent base angles, you automatically know that it's an isosceles trapezoid. So, this is an isosceles trapezoid by theorem 8.15. So yes, the diagram is sufficient to show that FGHJ is an isosceles trapezoid. Alright, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint, and this was a really short video, that's all, that's all we have.